Whenever I have a bad hair day or my bangs just look really weird, I like to put this head wrap on because it keeps all my hairs in place and I think it adds a lot of look to any outfit that I put. So the first thing you'll be needing is any sort of headscarf and I got this long patterned one from Goodwill for I think around like $2.99 and it could be a square or a rectangular one like this. As long as you can fold it into a rectangle, it should be fine. You're going to want to fold it maybe three or four times to get it to the right length or the right width and so this is good enough for me. You're going to want to put it um, around your head and have both sides uh, relatively equal and you're going to twist and then I like to twist it twice because I like that knot on the front. So after you've twisted it um, twice, you're going to want to take it to the back. You, then you get these two ends and you're going to want to tie it into a knot. Just your basic standard knot. And now you're just stuck with these two ends and so you don't want them sticking out. So you're going to want to tuck them into the scarf like so. I think I got all of it. And then you are finished. Just fix up your bangs and you should be all set. And um, I like to wear this with any sort of outfit where um, I don't have enough pattern or I don't have enough like pizzazz. I just add this baby and I'm good to go. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. So guess what? I have another bad hair day tutorial and you can turn your hair into a asymmetrical updo, I guess. And it's really simple to do, and here's how to do it. What you're gonna be needing for this hairstyle is a hairbrush, and I got this from CVS for, I think, $1.99. You can use any brush, as long as it gets the knots out, you're all good. Second, you're going to need a lot of bobby pins, and I like to put them inside this Altoid case because they fit perfectly in, in here. I got this idea from the YouTuber Yaya Lifestyle and she has a bunch of organization tips and hairstyles and she does like fashion hauls too so you should definitely check her out. You're going to need a really thin hair tie and I like to use these and they always come in a pack of like a thousand but I always manage to lose them all. All right, so let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna brush out your entire head of hair now that it's brushed out, you're going to want to braid it. Now that's done, you're going to want to um, get your braid out and you're going to twist it around your head as if it were a headband. And you're going to need a lot of volume pins right now, maybe like six or seven. So you can put two on the side and I like to crisscross it because I, I like to think that it actually works better. Then you're going to want to um, add more bobby pins to secure the braid. And I already put like six or seven in here, but make sure the, the bobby pins aren't sticking out or else you're just going to look like pinhead or something, um, which I'm definitely guilty of. And lastly, this is optional, you can take out a section of your hair out and um, have it look like kind of like an asymmetrical, elegant thing. And this is great for a summer day. We just want to get all the hair out of your face and your neck. As long as you have one hair tie and seven to ten bobby pins, and you guys are all set. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.